Okay. Okay. <laughs> All right. Are you ready? Part two? Part de? Dos? What other languages do we have up here? Oh, how do you say two? I say what? Two. 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 Part two. Part two. Part two. Part two. Okay. Let's do this. Hi, everyone. If you're tuning, just tuning in now on ESPN Plus, I'm Christina Poncher. We are now taking you into the ESPN Plus, Plus portion of the broadcast on Saturday night. Uh, we have two title fights, one world title fight uh, coming to you on ESPN Plus. That will start at 11 p.m. local time, midnight Eastern. So grab a snack, stay up late, and Enjoy two spectacular fights that you're going to see on the eve of Super Bowl Sunday. We are calling it Super Saturday because it is a stacked card. If you're just tuning in, uh, doors will open at 5.30 local time. We will start at 6 p.m. with the undercard fights. We have nine total fights on the broadcast. At 6 p.m., we start on ESPN Plus with the undercards. Then over at 9 o'clock, switch it on to ESPN lineal channel on your television and then back to ESPN plus to check out the action with these four guys that are on the stage with me now uh, we're gonna talk about the uh, special attraction which is the first bout that will open the ESPN plus uh, broadcast the co-main uh, before that though uh, Todd do you want to talk a little bit about we have uh, you know two promoters up here promoting our main event we have a, a young man to your right, Tiafimo Lopez, who's a great talent, taking on a guy we're all familiar with here, Diego Magdaleno. Great portion of ESPN Plus. Yeah, um, this is this is really the the new boxing world, as we say. I mean, um, first of all, you know, like we talked about earlier, the different platforms we're using, it's like Back to the Future, you know, and the the ESPN Plus platform is just is a is a powerful product. I love, you know. I think the last time we did this, we did a, a Regis Progress fight on ESPN, and we were in New Orleans, and we were all sitting down at the table, having dinner with our phones out, watching Pacquiao and Matisse coming, and we we're like, who would have thought you're at a restaurant? And the waiter's like, do you want to order? And our phones are just sitting there watching. Um, so it's exciting, it's exciting new technology. Um, but you know, this all couldn't have happened without um, working with Kathy and Yvonne Michelle, um, and, uh, Kathy has been a long, long um, friend of uh, Top Rank, and Yvonne has had a long relationship with us. And you know, they they put together a wonderful fight uh, many months ago, and now it's the rematch. And um, I'm sure they're going to, you know, both of their both of their fighters are terrific, world class fighters, and I think the audience is really in for a wonderful pleasure. So I'd like to really thank Kathy and Yvonne for everything, and it's their show. Go ahead. Yeah, Kathy, do you want to talk now about, um, we're going to talk to the opening fighters first, and then we'll get you guys to talk about the fighters in a main event. Let's do it like that. Okay, sounds good. Uh, we have to my right, all the way down at the end, uh, the man who, who hasn't, you know, really been short for words this, this training camp, or, or ever, uh, Tia Fimo Lopez, the takeover. Uh, Tia Fimo, you are opening the show on ESPN+, Plus, but every time you fight, your goal is to steal the show, if you will. What should we expect from you on Saturday night? Takeover. Um, taking over the show. Um, and it's all due, due respect to all these fighters out here, you know. But what we came out to do and what we plan to do is take over and uh, exceed everybody's ex expectations. Um, people, you know, they have, they're, they're talking very highly of me. So we have to back it up. And I'm used to it through my father, my coach, who talks very highly of me already. So um, come Saturday night, you guys will see something bigger and better. As the oppo opponents get tougher, we're gonna get better. That's what it really is. Um, when it's all said and done, being here in this platform and everything with ESPN, ESPN Plus, uh, download the app, you guys are gonna see something much better than it was 2018. That's what, you look, that's what really you're gonna look for. Uh, 2017 prospect of the year, 2018 ESPN prospect of the year. I know that you are proud of those accolades, but you're also right on that verge of saying, okay, it's been great being called a prospect of the year, but I'm ready now to become a contender. It, does winning this fight put you on that platform? I believe that uh, the fight with, in December 8th with Mason Menard proved everybody at that point that we are that much closer, of course, to a, a contender. We are a contender, right? Uh, it doesn't have to be this fight necessarily. To me, I already feel like I'm a champion. The only thing that's not declaring it is the world title. 
So to me, I don't even consider myself a contender. I consider myself a world champion. But that's with time and that's with, um, with these amount of fights. Listen, at the end of the day, top rank, they know what they're doing. ESPN knows what they're doing with Teofimo Lopez. And what are we doing? We're bringing entertainment. And when it's all said and done, yes, I'm young, but when I fight, it's not my age. I have all the experience. I've been there with the pros, sparred with the best, and I've beaten the best to get to where I'm at today. So they can say that they have more experience than me. They've said it with Mason Menard. They said it with William Silva. And what has happened? Take me to deep waters. It's not going to go your way. We know how to, we know how to stay composed, and we know how to dictate the fight. Don't think that you have a game plan to beat me because you do not. All right. Well, I'm sure the man to my right, your opponent, Diego Magdaleno, has something to say about that. He himself is 31 and 2, 13 KOs, uh, is a southpaw, the first southpaw that that you're going to face in your career. So, Diego, being that uh, you have a lot of experience, you've been in two world title fights. Uh, how can that uh, experience and being on this big stage, you know, help you uh, on Saturday night? Well, that's just it. You know, you, uh, top rank, I've, they built my whole entire career. You've, you've been there to watch it. Um, some of the best people in boxing and, and creators are, are with top rank. I mean, Brad Goodman is, um, you know, matchmaker of the year for a reason. You know, he's gotten that title. So I just have to use my, um, my personal experience and thank, thank top rank for building me and putting me in this position. You know what I mean? I thank you guys because um, everything leading up is gonna win me this fight. Everything I've been through is gonna win. Even you know the losses that I've had or whatever is only made me stronger. Diego is is uh, is here with with Fuego and uh, he's gonna bring everything he needs to because uh, I've been in the ring. You guys haven't been seeing me. You know maybe the last two fights were in Mexico, but what you guys haven't seen is who I've been in the ring with. Pedraza, I got him ready for Lomachenko. Linares, I got him ready for two fights. Um, been sparring with Adrian I've been Broner. sparring with Broner, who's uh, <laughs> actually was, was, was fun. Sparring Adrian Broner was fun. All the shit he was talking to me mentally helps you raise your game. Um, but it was one of, the, one of the things that I enjoyed uh, sparring with him. But to bring your, uh, these are, these are world champions. These are A-class fighters. That's where I belong. You know, it's the reason why they came looking for me for sparring because they knew Diego is gonna bring it. Diego is gonna bring them to uh, to sharpen up their skills, and it's been I've been using it towards my advantage. I've been sharpening up my game. I'm sharp as I'm sharp as hell. So that's what I bring to this. I bring my experience. I bring. Uh, the new corner? The new corner, yeah, of course. Um, we have um, a professor of boxing in my corner, Ismael Salas, who has just made slight changes, which make a big, big difference. You know, uh, Jorge Capetillo, who has brought in so much light to my day mm -hmm. um, in the gym every day, good vibes. Uh, we have Shannon, the train wreck, who's been phenomenal with my diet uh you know uh, shout out to pepe gomez um for for allowing this fight and making letting it happen you know these promoters are, are like you said earlier they're they're opening their doors opening you know letting their fighters go out there and and that's what th the boxing world needs they want to see these fights take place and i believe this fight here is going to take over uh the main event this has uh a lot of action packed and some greatness, some good to. Uh, He's right about that. Steal, steal the show for sure. <laughs> no, for sure. We're we're um, we're here. We're ready. No one's running. No one's scared. <laughs> um, it's number fire. You know what I mean? We're we're ready. We're ready to do this. All right. Thank you, Diego. Good to see you again. Appreciate it. We're Thank looking you. forward to it. You guys won't want to miss their fight. It's opening Good up job, at 11 Diego. p.m. <laughs> on uh, ESPN Plus right here at the Star. Uh, let's get now to the main event. I'm going to send it to Kathy Duva and Yvonne Michelle, who will uh, speak a little bit about the quality of the fights, the rematch, and then um, I'll ask a few questions to their fighters uh, one by one. So, Kathy, go ahead. Take it away. <laughs> 
Okay, thank you so much, Christina. Um, <clears throat> I want to thank Todd DeBuff and Todd Brank, uh, Bob Arum for uh, uh, creating this platform for all of us. Uh, we are, yeah, the only time you get really great fights is when guys are willing to step up and have the courage to get in the ring and, fa and face each other. And sadly, it doesn't happen often enough. But uh, the two gentlemen that are sitting up here, uh, that's exactly what they did. And, uh, and, and when that happens, sometimes we, you know, we get results that you don't expect. That may happen again on Saturday. Um, and uh, I think that uh, anybody who takes the time to watch this fight is going to be very, uh, it's going to be rewarded. The, uh, the uh, Sergey's, Sergey's journey has taken him from absolute obscurity to the absolute top of the boxing world. I don't think his journey is over. Uh, my friend, Agus Klimas, who, who, uh, who brought him here and brought him to me and I, uh, we, we have faith. He has uh, assembled the, the same dream team that brought our, 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 the legendary Arturo Gatti back after his disastrous loss to Oscar De La Hoya and began a run of 11 fights that really uh, became the, the, the most uh, successful part of his career. So uh, we're gonna see if, if uh, Buddy McGirt and Teddy Cruz have worked their magic again. I know Sergey is as determined as any human could ever be, and uh, he's gonna get his title back. Shh, can we get it quiet in the back, please? Please? Thank you. Thank you, Kathy. Yvonne, if you'd like to say an opening remark here. Thank you very much. <clears throat> Welcome everybody here. We are, I can't tell you how thrilled we are to be fighting in this facility, to be working with uh, Kathy again, with Tar Prank on ESPN. Thank you very much, Kathy, for having uh, chosen the, the right pi partner uh, to do that event. J'en profiterai pour uh, saluer les gens du Québec qui sont ici, les gens de 99, Journal Montréal, Martin Tremblay du Centre Vidéotron. Um, the first fight was an exceptional fight. It was great. There was a lot of strategy. We could see two fighters really dedicated. <clears throat> and um, and I, read in the, I read in the paper that uh, uh, Sergei said that uh, Elieda has been lucky to win that fight. I don't buy uh, uh, that. Uh, I don't buy that at all. What I'm buying, what I, I believe is that everybody got surprised. Everybody, nobody really knew who was Elieda Alvarez. Now everybody knows that he has skill. He's hungry. He's dedicated. He has athleticism. And he can fight. Now everybody knows. And this is why I believe you prepare better this time. You have a great team. You have a future Hall of Famer uh, in your corner. Um, but uh, everybody was surprised. Even the WBO, Elieda, was received uh, a plaque as for the surprise of the year at the WBA convention. He was also named the, the Athlete of the Year in Colombia this year. Not only in, uh, in boxing, but uh, every sport uh, together. But people who knew what Elieder could do was his manager, Stefan Lipin, who's been with him all the time. When you find a disciplined, a loyal, a dedicated fighter behind, very often you have a manager with all these qualities. His trainer, Mark Ramsey, who will one day, I'm convinced, join Buddy McGirt as a Hall of Famer. He has certainly emerged as the best trainer that ever came from Canada. Mark Ramsey knew what Elieda Alvarez could do. And what you have seen the last time, it was an excellent Elieda Alvarez, but he has improved. He has more confidence. He knows now that he can take Crusher's punch. We were not certain the, the, the first time. Now we know. So, because Sergei will be better prepared, because he will not have a surprise this time, because Eliadar did everything to keep improving, to keep to, and uh, 
to be better than it ever was. You will see the best version possible of Elena Alvarez Saturday. So you have bought a great fight, Todd. It's going to be exceptional, and the winner will be considered the best light heavyweight in the world. And I really believe it will be Elena Alvarez. Thank you very much. I don't even think we need to talk to the fighters, right? I mean, that was, that was everything they're going to say, probably. <laughs> but we will. It's formality. So, of course, we will give them each a chance to speak. We will start with the challenger in this fight. I know you're not used to hearing that, but uh, it is what it is. In this fight, you are the challenger, Sergey Kovalev. Uh, you had the, the uh, rematch clause in your contract, and you were ready right away. No other tune-up fight, nothing. You wanted to get right back and fight this rematch. Why was that important to you? Hi, everybody. Uh... I really want to say big thanks to the whole team of Top Rank and my team, uh, main events, for uh, this opportunity to make uh, uh, rematch and get uh, my belts back. Uh, this is the most important for me right now because uh, uh, I couldn't uh, stop my boxing career uh, like a loser, you know, like it's uh, not in my, in my character. Uh, first of all, uh, uh, this is my goal, get ba back my belt uh, that I dropped on the way to the, my big goals, you know, like, uh, yes, I made a mistake last time, but this time I will, uh, I will fix it. This Saturday I will fix this situation and uh, will be again on the top because uh, if not, I'm not a Sergey Krasher, Kovalev. Believe me, uh, this Saturday will be the best version of me because I turned on everything what I could uh, for to get best shape in, in my boxing career like a pro. I have a great uh, team, uh, T uh, Teddy Cruz and Buddy McGirt. They really helped me. And also massage therapist Vasily. Uh, Aegis Klimas, all my team helped me uh, to get care for uh, best uh, terms for my training camp. I'm happy and I'm ready. This time I'm really ready. Thank you very much and see you on Saturday. All right. Um, let me follow up quickly. <clears throat> Did you contemplate retiring after the fight? Because you said that you know you didn't want to go out uh, a loser. So is that something that was in your mind? No, no, no. Uh, I, I mean, like uh, I, I can't uh, stop my uh, continue my boxing career like a loser. You know, like, and, so I you mean, need to make a change to get yeah, back on the course, winning track. Because like Understood. my goal, like to collect all four belts. You know, like. Uh, but uh, I dropped uh, this belt uh, on my way to the my huge goal. You know, and after the fight, like maybe a lot of people like uh, thought like, hey, should be stop the boxing career, you know, like, and no, it's not in my character to stop the career for, uh, by the losing, you know. When I will win, I will, will be thinking stop or not stop, but when I lose, it's 100% not. And, and as a reminder, you were up on all three cards at the time of the stoppage, so I mean, it's not like you had a a, a terrible night, so I didn't think that that was in your mind, but I just wanted to clarify that for anybody that was watching. So, you're, you're ready on Saturday. I know I speak fast sometimes. Yeah, sorry. Of, He's of, ready. Of course, I'm ready. <laughs> I'm ready. Like, th this time, yeah. I'm ready. Got like, it. Uh, just, uh, just uh, like, g g g give me a Saturday night. Give me, g give me a Saturday night, and like everything will fix it. All right. Uh, and now uh, I'm sorry for my English. No, Maybe like right. I don't understand uh, some questions right. <laughs> And maybe like uh, say something right for uh, uh, your understand, but like no, we understand. I have a practice. Sorry. <laughs> no, you did a good. It was pretty good, Kathy. Right? All in English. You come a long way. Much. Yeah, come a long way. <laughs> uh, your opponent, the the champion, Elader Alvarez. How are you doing? <laughs> uh, hi everybody. I'm good. You? You gonna try English too, or are we gonna do uh, Spanish or a French? A little bit. A little bit. A little bit. A I little understand bit. a little bit, but uh, <laughs> it's no. Not through my English is okay, but yeah, no, you're Let's do it pity for some, city for some. Let's do it on English. <laughs> yes, I, 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 I speak in English. Are you be? I understand you. Oh, he can understand me. <laughs> he said, "I'll speak because English, but English I understand is, you." Because you is same uh, English. <laughs> you understand boxing. Um, so, uh, later, 
you're in a different position this time. Now you're speaking second. Now you're sitting here with the belt. How have things changed for you in the last six months being a world champion? Estás en una posición diferente esta vez. Tienes el título. Estás hablando último en la conferencia de prensa. ¿Cómo han cambiado las cosas para ti en estos últimos meses? Bueno, eh, eh, las cosas, no, primero que todo, eh, eh, buenas tardes, good afternoon for everybody. Eh, han cambiado mucho. Eh, es la primera vez que estoy eh, en una carta de, principal. Eh, muy contento por eso. Es una motivación para mí. Y eh, pienso que después de, la, de en seis meses lo que ha cambiado es mi, popul mi popularidad, pero sigo siendo el mismo. Things have changed a lot for me. Uh, this is my first time being the main event in a card. Uh, but uh, what has changed is my popularity. But I'm still the same guy. So your mentality, being a champion, you know, you coming into the first fight against Sergey, maybe not a lot of people knew who you were. As Yvonne mentioned, you took the world by surprise. But now you're the champion. Now they do know who you are, and that comes with expectations. How do you handle all that mentally? In the first fight, many people didn't know you. Now the world you know you. How do you manage these expectations that people have of you now? Gracias a Dios, afortunadamente soy un hombre fuerte mentalmente. Eh, he aprendido a manejar todo eso porque vengo desde abajo. Eh, empecé poquito, de poquito, y ahora tengo más. Y por eso yo creo que he manejado todo eso. Mentalmente eh, eh, me preparo muy bien y, y, y por eso mismo no, no me enloquezco, por decirlo así. Thanks to God, I'm a mentally strong person. Uh, I have come from, from the bottom, basically. And little by little, I have been getting my, my stuff. Now, now I have uh, more. So that's what I think that, uh, that I've been able to handle it well. I'm a, strong, a mentally strong person. Uh, Sergey was winning the fight up until that seventh round when you knocked him down three times and, and took the world title. Uh, he said he just made a mistake. Uh, he was overtrained for that fight, but he will be better. Uh, what do you have to say in response to that, and what kind of performance do you need to have to make sure you keep that belt on your shoulder? He said that in the first fight, he made a mistake and he overtrained. You managed to beat him three times. What do you have to say about that, that he says that you have to train differently for this fight? I only think that they are pure excuses. When you lose, you have many excuses. When you lose, there are no any. I know what I did. I know what I did. I know what I did. Sé la preparación que tuve, la estrategia que monté con mi entrenador. Eh, por mi parte, no, para mucha gente, como tú lo, di, lo dijiste ahora, que no me conocía en el mundo boxeo, dicen que es un golpe de suerte, él dice que es un accidente, pero nosotros en, como mi equipo sabemos lo que hicimos y sabe, sabemos la estrategia que montamos para que él cayera tres veces con un accidente. Entonces, vamos a ver qué estrategia traemos ahora para un otro accidente. I believe uh, that's all excuses he's making. Uh, when you lose, you have a lot of excuses. When you win, you have none excuses. Uh, I, bec I had a great game plan with my team, and he says that's, that was an accident. Well, he's going to be ready for another accident on a Saturday. All right. Well, let's just end it on that note. I don't know what else there is to say about it. I mean, we, they got to settle it in the ring, which is getting set up right here uh, to the right of us. It's going down, as I mentioned, Saturday night from the Ford Center at the Star in Frisco, Texas. Doors open at 5.30 p.m. local time. The first bout with all the prelims will start at 6 o'clock p.m. local time, central time, on ESPN+. Plus. There will be five bouts there. You will switch over to ESPN, the lineal channel, on your television to catch two title fights, world title fights there, and then over on ESPN+, Plus for these two exciting bouts, which will end the night at 11 p.m. local time here in Texas. Did I get it all, Todd? Is that, is that right? You did great. All right. <laughs> we'll remind you again tomorrow at the weigh-ins, which are taking place right outside of here at 4 p.m. local time. They'll also be streaming right here on ESPN+, Plus, so you can catch all nine fights uh, weighing in. Obviously, that, that's a formality in order for them to get in the ring on Saturday night. So tune in 4 o'clock local time, 5 p.m. Eastern to see them all weigh in. We will have you guys uh, pose off for photos now. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Thank you to all the fighters. I'm Christina yeah. Parker. We'll see you tomorrow. Yeah.